Two losses, both those losses to run the table. This time he puts run the table away. How about the payoffs, Frank? And Jaguar Spur going off at 7 to 1 returns $16, 720, and 680. Number two, Redskin following in for the two hole trip, 29 20. That is 25 20 and 13 20. And number seven, Frugal Gourmet, 480 to show. Now, Lots of prestige at stake here today. How does a horse stay eligible? If he's three years old and if his stakes payments have been kept up. Every horseman dreams of winning the little brown jug and he must believe in this dream right from the time his colt is a yearling. By May 15th of the colt's yearling year, a nominating fee of $10 must be made. For this year's jug, 3,540 payments were made. A sustaining payment of $300 must be made by March 15th of the colt's two-year-old year. -old year. For this year's jug, 997 of these payments were made. Another sustaining payment, this time $500, must be made by February 15th of the Colts' three-year-old year. 265 three-year-olds were kept eligible this year. And one final payment of $4,000 must be made to start today. That payment is made upon entry last Monday, bringing each three-year-old stakes payments to $4,810. Any horseman that has a late bloomer that was not kept eligible by the schedule of payments is out of luck for the jug. Such was the case in years gone by with Cam Fella and On the Road Again. And the colt that many people believe is the best of this year's crop, Jate Lobel. The horses for the second elimination heater now on the track. Purse is $92,000. Frank, let's introduce them. From the rail is Q Light with John Campbell. This is a $31,000 yearling purchase. This Colt won only one race last year, and that was a maiden race the very last start of the year, yet he won $424,000. Love to have one like that. Number two, Booster Seat and the driver Paul McDonnell. Booster Seat was a $4,500 yearling purchase. Uh, Blair Burgess tells us the reason he's here today is because of his strong performance in the Simcoe Stakes at Mohawk Raceway, where he finished second to Stornoway Mac. Number three, Z28 with Bill O'Donnell. Private purchase for Z28. He is carrying the colors for the state of Ohio. This colt, Z28, is the fastest Ohio bred ever with a record of 152-2 at Springfield. And number four, Rain God teamed with Benny Webster. Rain God, uh, we need some help here if you like uh, to get yourself... Uh, uh, if you're looking for a, a hook here, Rain God might be for you. He's purchased for 40000 He really doesn't belong here today. Number five, Landy Hanover, Chris Boring drives. Landy Hanover was sold for $77,000. He is owned by the Proudfoot Farms. They won the Little Brown Jug back in 1984 with a horse called Colt 46. Number six, Golden Creek with Tom Hockney. Golden Creek was purchased for $28,000. He is owned in part by J.M. Thompson. This is the wife of the president of the Little Brown Jug Society. So one thing you can say about this colt is that his stakes payments were in on time. And number seven, Maximilian Hanover, and teamed with Del Insco. Well, Maximilian Hanover was purchased for $27,000. He won $173,000 last year. Been off for a while, just qualified at Roosevelt Raceway, and he's got a record of 154-3. and three. Hang on to this stuff. That'll permit you to come back in if you go out the gate. Thank you. Hang on to this stuff. That'll permit you to come back in this gate if you go out. Now, where's the other half of this? What makes the Little Brown Jug so special? Perhaps it's seeing the best horses in the world racing on the fastest half-mile track in the world. Perhaps it's the camaraderie of horsemen and racing fans everywhere converging on the little community of Delaware, Ohio, in the heart of mid-America. Perhaps it's the carnival atmosphere of the county fair, the exquisite cuisine, and the unique entertainment. Or maybe it's just the prestige established over 42 years of tradition. Race programs. Souvenir race program. And it's turned out to be just a gorgeous day. The second elimination heat is now coming to the post. Q Light, the one horse, is the favorite with John Campbell. Z28, the horse that everybody in Ohio would like to see win. He's at 7 to 2. Rain God looks like he does belong. He's at 4 to 1. Now Roger Houston with the call. Off and pacing. Booster seat goes right up for the lead. Q light down along the rail. Z28 drops in third. Lendy Hanover on the outside. Here comes Z28. 
on the move on the outside. Rain God, racing fifth. Sixth on the outside, Golden Greek, treading the field, Maximilian Hanover. Down on the back side they go, up on the outside, Z28. Here comes Landy Hanover, three wide on the outside. Past the quarter in 28 and four. As they race into the turn, moving up on the outside with a rush, Golden Greek. Now second and going after leader, Landy Hanover. In at the rail third, Z28. Racing fourth, booster seat. Fifth at the rail, Q light, rain guard six. Training the field, Maximilian Hanover. Down the lane they come. Golden Greek on the outside has taken the lead at the half. 56 and two. 27 and three, second quarter, around the final turn. Landy Hanover is second, out and moving the outside. Z28, now third and coming on. Booster seat is fourth. Q light the outside, ring guard six. Maximilian Hanover trails the field. Down the back side they go. Golden Greek by a length, up on the outside. Now second, Z28. Three quarters, one at 26 and two. 30 seconds flat, third quarter. Around the final turn, Golden Greek by a half. Z28 on the outside. Landy Hanover at the rail. On the outside, booster seat. Rain God at the rail. Q light on the outside. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. Z28 on the outside. Golden Greek at the rail. It's Z28 and Golden Greek. Z28. One, and we're waiting for it to be made official. Z28 carrying the hopes of Ohio with him. Gets it done in the second heat. Bill O'Donnell assured now of a drive in the championship final. Back with more of the Brown Jug in just a moment. Gets on this horse for the first time, and he moves the horse right up. The horse only had one win all year. This is his second one, and what a big one it was. Frank, the payoffs. Yes, number three, Z28, $9, 420, and 320. Second, number six, Golden Greek, returning 580 and $4. Third, number five, Landy Hanover, 560 to show. The exactor three and six for 8560. What a terrific drive. You know, the horses are on the track right now for the third elimination. Let's introduce them. Number one, 